Hi everybody! I know, guess what? I'm back! Finally! After, what, a month? So I'm so sorry, I'm not going to give you excuses of 17,000 different reasons why I didn't show up, or why I'm late, or why I haven't done anything on YouTube. I know, I just show up, check my things, answer people, talk to people, and then I'm just so lazy to make a video. So I'm sorry, I know it's my fault. <laughs> I don't know. I'll just, I'll, I, I promise. I promise. I'm going to get to it and I'm not going to miss any more. So I'm sorry. I love all of you guys who are supporting me. You guys are amazing. And I'm back because you're asking me to make videos. So here I am. All right. So I'm obviously matching my eyes with my little, little dress. I know it's an M&M dress. Can you believe it? Anyway, so let's get to it. My eyes are the pop of color that is on trend right now. I know I always do a really dramatic eyeliner and yeah, love it, not as zonky. Okay, so what I did is going to be in the tutorial coming up. Before I do that, I do have a do it yourself kind of tip before I start. And that is it. Love you guys and hope I'll be back soon. I promise. <laughs> promise I'll be back. So enjoy watching it. Um, and that's all. I'll be back soon. I promise. I promise I'll be back. I'm just wanting to go do my things. Get back to business. All right. Love you guys. Bye. First thing I always do is get rid of the oil on my face. My face is combination, so sometimes it gets oily, sometimes it doesn't, and today I feel like I'm shiny, as you can see, everywhere. So, number one thing that I have a tip for is the blotting papers. Mm -hmm. I know, I know. Some, sometimes, I mean, if you're getting them from Sephora, they could be 20 of them, 20 tiny ones in there for maybe like seven or eight dollars. Well, want a cheap one? Want a really, really cheap one? Well, here it is. Bam! Do you see this? Okay, so this is obviously gift wrapping paper or, you know, those really thin ones. You can get them from a dollar store, like 60 of them. Well, not 60, maybe 20 of them for a dollar and they're huge. So, I use these. I just cut out myself and use them to get the oil off of my face. But honestly, I don't like coming home and packing my face with powder just to get rid of the oil because it just gets this build up and cakey face and we don't want that, right? Okay, so that's that, that's what I do. And then I go ahead and fix my face and freshen it up. So now that I do have my face ready to go, I um, usually just use a pencil liner in the morning and for a more dramatic eyes like what I have right now, I use um, gel liner. So I do that and just fix it up and do my eyebrows and just touch up my face so everything is set up. Then I do the more dramatic eye. Um, what I do is to get the pop of color. I've tried, I've never tried the green yet, so I'm trying it right here in front of the camera for you guys. Um, I have and done the blue before, a few times. I have done the purple yesterday, actually, and I really liked it. And today I decided to do the green. Um, I really love the colors blues and greens, and they just really look nice with brown eyes. So I'm gonna try it. So what I do, you do not have to have every single eyeliner color. That's my belief. Um, what I do is use uh, and mine is so tiny now. Um, it's um, a silverish gray, more silver eyeliner, and it's in Prestige Eyeliner in Disco. Um, this is what I have. You can use anything. And what I do is line my under eyes with it. Inside my eyes, I do have the white eyeliner. And that's just, it keeps my eyes more open because of the big, huge liners. They tend to make my eyes more, more droopy looking, so it's not... A good thing obviously so what I use is I just use this under my eyes this is what I do I 
Okay, so I do not go all the way in. Um, I end where my liner, my top liner ends because obviously you all know that if you do go your eye, if you make your eyeliner, the black one all the way in the top liner, it makes your eyes smaller. So you want bigger eyes, you don't go all the way in, you just finish it where. I usually finish it where my thickest lashes are. Obviously, I'm recording on my Mac, so you can't really see my lashes. I look awkward right now, but I can see my lashes in the mirror myself. So I don't look as creepy as I look in the camera right now. So what I do, again, I just go over it and over it till I get satisfied with the amount. So what this is going to do is going to act as a primer. It makes the color that I'm going to add brighter. It's going to make it last because if you just put an eyeshadow under your eye, ugh, maybe it'll stay for like 10 minutes. But And that was the picture that you saw with just the eyeliner. So the two different colors that I want, one is a lighter green. This one is MAC in Bitter. It's this really lime, greeny, neon -y color. I don't think I'm going to use this because it just has a little tint of yellow in it. So I'm not going to use that. You can if you want a lighter color. I'm just going to go ahead and use um, a darker green. Mine is just in a palette that I palette that I have. I'm gonna use a mix of this and that. It's just a darker green. Okay, so now with a eyeliner brush, or you can use a very flat. This is what I have a flat um, eyeshadow brush. All right, so now that I have my color packed on there, what I am going to do is I'm not gonna rub it in or just I'm just gonna pack it on and tap it on my eyeliner I'll put a picture after this I'm gonna do my concealer my lashes and then you can see the end result